Masai Ujiri has been the general manager of the Toronto Raptors since 2013. In that time, they've been a perennial playoff power. They've also had disappointing playoff exits. Well, that changed a season ago when they acquired Kawhi Leonard and they rode that wave to an NBA championship. Now, as his players were celebrating on the court in Oakland, Masai Ujiri made his way down to the floor, but he had an incident with a police officer. Later, that officer filed a lawsuit against Ujiri, claimed that Ujiri was the aggressor, that he was the victim in the situation, said that he suffered injuries to his head, his chin, his jaw, and his teeth, and said that he will continue to suffer mentally and emotionally as a result of the physical altercation in the incident. Now, in basketball, we tend to use the phrase, ball don't lie. Well, neither does body cam footage. This was released this week. Footage of the actual incident back in June in Oakland. Ujiri pulling out his credential there, and he's shoved immediately by the police officer, who shouts obscenities at him. And then he's shoved once again. Again, Ujiri trying to make his way to the floor with his players. Here's another look. Ujiri there, you see circled on the right, approaching the officer, and again, shoved. He's just trying to make his way to the floor, in his face, shoved once again. Here's a statement now that the video has been released. This is a statement from, from Ujiri. Quote, the video sadly demonstrates how horribly I was treated by a law enforcement officer last year in the midst of my team, the Toronto Raptors, winning its first world championship. Yet unfortunately, I was reminded in that moment that there are some people who will always and only see me as something that is unworthy of respectful engagement. And there's only one indisputable reason why that is the case, because I am black. The statement continues, what saddens me most about this ordeal is that the only reason why I am getting the justice I deserve in this moment is because of my success. So many of my brothers and sisters haven't had, don't have, and won't have the same access to resources that assured my justice. And that's why black lives matter. Nets Governor Josai tweeted this out yesterday. On the court, we will compete as hell. In life, you have our respect. Here's more reaction. A lot of um, just flat out um, unkind behavior towards people when they don't really know the truth, right? And I, I, I find it all, I find it all very disheartening and disappointing to be honest no, it's heavy stuff man it's heavy stuff uh, obviously we are all privileged and Messiah is pretty privileged in, in his world and um you just you just stop and think about you know how good we got it because there's there's people who are going to be in that same situation walking down the street who don't have money to fight the case it shows why we're um you know we're supportive of the social injustices that are going on right now um it shows why we're supporting of the black lives matter um, it shows why we need to get out there and vote. It's the worst part is that it, it wasn't unexpected. I'm not surprised at what I saw. Um, it's become norm and, and, and people in my community, man. Um, this is what is expected. We expect this. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that we're trying to get across to the white community in America. You have a black man in a suit who's running an NBA franchise with security around him and he gets treated that way. I walked on the court without anybody asking me for my credentials. What's the difference between me and Masai? I'm white, he's black. Mm. This is why we kneel. That's why that yeah. phrase and that statement is so important. Important and strong words there. That's why we say this is more than a moment. This is a movement. This is why the conversation continues and the conversation about social justice and racial equality there on the NBA campus, around the country, and around the world.